The Market of Dreams, a brilliant novel by the writer Leon Kafzezi. It is inspired by the tragic events of 1997, when a people was stolen in broad daylight by means of pyramid firms. The state stole its people through a masquerade propaganda. It was not a paradox of the time. Post-communist. It was a well-thought-out strategy of the opposition position to get rich as quickly as possible and an unrestrained cynical revenge to show the true Bolshevik face of the two existing parties. Democratic and socialist, not at all persuasive to each other and what they had in common was the hatred for the people and their shameless extortion through fraudulent financial schemes. I take the trigger from these tragic events coordinated and with the northern neighbor, they had as their purpose, in addition to theft and the destabilization of Albania. As shown by the events of a the year after the Serbian genocide, the Albanians, torn apart from their property, did not have the opportunity to come to the aid of their Kosovo brothers. The evil strategy of a pure national betrayal. It's interesting that the brown-haired man doesn't stop here, but only gets a trigger to operate with his extraordinary fantasy in the years to come, when the pseudo-democracy will seem stabilized. But in reality, a more sophisticated theft strategy will be prepared more carefully. The dream of a people was stolen, the theft of the hope of a generation, of a nation was being prepared. Through a powerful sarcastic humor that does not exclude the philosophy of a very virtuosic and far-sighted thinking and prediction. Black humor permeates the work in a funereal way but still hopeful. After many efforts, dilemmas, and corrupt anxieties, he reaches the conclusion that dreams should not be sold at any price because a people without dreams is dead and not buried. The thread of dreams is a novella or novel, whatever you want to call it, that remains long in the reader's mind after reading it. And not only that, it is as if it tries to artistically restrain the new traps that are set in the future against this old and vital people who are in Europe, you dream of entering it, comic and tragic. It is a book that will stand the test of time regardless of the new underground censorship of a state that is not honest with its people and homeland. George Jeji, writer, rector of the Academy of Fine Arts.